So don't be drinking vitamin C every day thinking that's going to help. Vitamin C does help, but it's, uh, you know, like the amount that's needed, I think is misunderstood. I want to talk about sickness, beating sickness, things that could kind of, you know, prompt your immune system to kind of not work as efficiently, things that can help boost your immune system. It's very important, um, especially through the changing of the seasons. It's where I am, cold, and it's about to get warm and then go back to being cold again. This is where immune systems have trouble kind of keeping up. Um, so let's talk about, let's talk about kind of like, we'll go into history first. I was trying to trying to think of how I wanted to phrase that. We'll go in history, history lesson. It's actually more of a story. Growing up, I always had I always had headaches. Um, that was more likely due to my vision, but I also got sick a lot. Um, and I feel like my my family got sick a lot too. We were active kids, uh, but I feel like I got more sick because I was more sedentary than my siblings. If you don't know what sedentary means, it means sitting, sitting down, right? So I had, I was primarily sitting because I was playing so many video games. Um, and because of that, sedentary behavior is scientifically, scientifically, does that make sense? It's been proven time and time again that, um, that sedentary behavior, long periods of sitting is not good for your overall your overall health and compromising the immune system is one of the one of the things that that happens. Um, you know, when you sit down, your blood flow is restricted, so your so um, oxygen flow through the body. Um, <clears throat> it can promote not promote. I keep using that word, but sedentary behavior increases the risk of diseases like cardiovascular disease, heart disease, um, diabetes. You name it. It sedentary behavior is not not good, right? And I'm not saying you can't sit down. I'm saying like long-term, long bouts, like every single day, 12 hours a day. So I would sit in school and learn, and then I'd go home and I'd play games. And then I, in between, even though I was active, in between I'd, I would, for the most part, I'm talking about my high school years, for the most part, I would go to sports for like an hour a day. So that's, unfortunately, that doesn't really combat all of the sitting that I did. I could have got up and walked a little bit more. I could have got out outside and played or, you know, had fun, played some sports, like with friends, done whatever. And that would have helped. Getting that, getting my body moving, getting my heart rate up, that that helps with overall health, including your immune system. Um, <clears throat> that fresh air, let's say I'm outside, that fresh air is really powerful for you. When you're sitting indoors, sometimes the air could get stale. Um, that's a, that's a really broad, broad way to say it, but it could get stale where, um, it could feel as though that just scared me. I'm underneath the train track and the, the train must've just went above me and it just startled me. Yikes. Um, the fresh air is good for your immune system. There are studies that show that walking through the forest, well, not forest, just outdoors in general, where there's grass and trees has a profound effect on your overall well-being, your mood specifically, but also just your immune system because there's these scents that get thrown around outside. Not only is the oxygen, the air clean, not stable air, the, there's scents that get thrown around from the trees and the grass and your body responds to it in a positive way. It's very interesting stuff. I would like to do more research on this, but this is, uh, I've read and heard these, heard uh, videos on this exact situation. So you wanna to try to get outside to help boost your immune system. But moving around is, and being sedentary isn't the only thing that you can do. What you eat can help with your um, immune system too. So like if you're sitting there snacking all day and it's, it's highly processed foods, that does not allow your body to get the nutrients that it needs to be able to combat the, the sicknesses that might be you know coming around. If you are eating healthier, this is proven all the time. The health, like if you eat healthy and you can still snack and stuff, you can still have some processed food. I mean, I do. Um, it's all moderation, right? But if you eat generally healthy and you eliminate some of those overly processed foods or sodas and stuff, um, it really will help 
boost your immune system and you will you will feel better overall you're you're just overall you'll feel better your energy levels your mood but you're you'll start to realize you're not getting sick nearly as often from what you eat and you drink so getting up and moving or exercise will definitely will definitely benefit your immune system and of course what you eat now another big factor is sleep i think people downplay the the benefits of sleep sleep is absolutely huge when it comes to um, overall well-being and your immune system and staying healthy and preventing sickness if you have had let's say let's say you've had you might have experienced this where days and days and days where you just get very very little sleep and then you start feeling like you're maybe you're getting sick like you know when you get that that sick feeling you kind of feel it coming on you get that sick feeling from days of lack of so let's say it's four days in a row and then on the fifth day you're like mm, i don't know i i kind of feel like i might actually be getting sick here that is likely due to your your body getting so fatigued from lack of sleep and unable to be able to um like when you when you when something happens your body needs to it it reevaluates where the resources need to be put to be able to keep you we'll say for lack of a better term alive and this is the truth so if you are if you're eating well you're exercising and you're sleeping well the body knows that it has the resources to be able to put towards your immune system where if you're not optimizing all of those things your body needs to it needs to keep you awake it needs to keep you um you know <clears throat> as healthy as it can but the immune system kind of takes gets put on the back burner like it, it cannot send out it's I'm, I'm trying to put this into terms understandable terms like your body has all these like it can't send out all its units to be able to help combat the um sickness that might be coming on because it's trying to combat all the inflammation right so let's say your body has an arm unit that, that reduces inflammation helps with overall wellness like it fights the bad guys that come in your body when you when you start accumulating all of these all of these like we'll say not so great habits and they start hounding your body and and your your immune system it sends your body will send out the army but it can't it has to pick and choose where it needs to go and it's going to pick your immune system is very important but it can only it can only um send out so much so much to each part and it's going to try to optimize it the best it can but unfortunately if you're not i mean if you're really hounding your body and you're not sleeping well you're not getting exercise you're sitting down all day you're really going to feel the effects and you're going to get sick more often because your body just unfortunately cannot keep up with that and no matter what you eat or drink, I mean, you can drink vitamin C all the time. I don't condone that. Don't drink so much vitamin C. Vitamin C is easy to, um, like, get toxic in your body. Like, it's easy to kind of overdo it with vitamin C. So don't be drinking vitamin C every day thinking that's going to help. Vitamin C does help, but it's, uh, you know, like, the amount that's needed, I think, is misunderstood. So, like... Focusing on focusing on your health and wellness, making sure you're not sitting down all day, at least getting a little bit of movement, making sure you're sleeping well, and trying to eliminate some of the processed food and, and, and drink processed foods that you are putting in your body will most certainly help to reduce the chances of you getting sick, especially during times of like season season changes. So if you have if you have any tips or tricks yourself, let me know. I'd love to hear them in the comments. If you have anything that you take, like uh, some sort of drink or anything, I would love to hear them. I'd love to try try out. I love trying out new things, doing some research on them. If you like what you heard in this video, hit that like button. It greatly helps out the channel. Hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see everybody in the next video. Later, dreamers.